Hi, Joe Castillo here with tonight's final thought. Uh, I met with my uh, neurologist recently to discuss my progress and uh, what next steps to take with my treatment. Um, actually, a little bit later on in the week, I had met with my uh, physical therapist and it dawned on me that I had been on this particular journey for uh, actually two years now, or actually a little bit over two years. Um, and I, act, I find it almost impossible to re recap um, what it's like to have my life uh, stopped in its tracks, uh, lose my mobility and my um, independence, and then come back. Uh, the question then became, or has become, you know, come back to what? Um, and, uh, and so it's like one of these sorts of things, and I, and I, I do apologize because I do seem to uh, bring up this journey that I've been on for the last two years quite a bit uh, in my writing and in these, uh, in these video blogs. Uh, but it's one of these sorts of things, uh, having gone through what I've gone through, uh, you know, I was very determined to uh, try to remember the best of what it was that I experienced in terms of um, almost, it, it was never as you know serious or life-threatening um, as I guess as it could have been, but it was, you know, it was bad enough. It was, it was very serious. And had I not gotten medical intervention, then, uh, you, know, you know, who knows uh, what would have transpired. The difficult thing, I guess, now is, or part of the difficult thing now, is that um, I, I feel like I'm almost back to, like I say, almost back to normal, um, with the exception of I have some neuropathy in the bottom of my feet, um, and I have to, and I obviously have to keep an eye on my on my health in terms of any kind of signs of weakening. Um, I need to uh, address and not do the typical male thing, which is to, you know, to pretend to be, you know, immortal and and uh, oblivious or. Uh, unaffected by these sorts of things um, so you know so I remember at one stage um, kind of struggling with work and uh, and and uh, and trying to just maintain you know a, a strong steady uh, face and talking to a co-worker and he told me you know in in, in not too long from now he said um, you'll forget all of this and my first thought was I didn't really want to forget all this um, in, in so far as you know it, it opened my eyes to a, you know well it opened my eyes to a lot of things and I used to joke that I had a kind of should I be lucky enough to live into my 80s I, I have an idea of what it's like to be somewhat um, I don't well the first word that comes to mind is frail you know where I couldn't support my own weight I had to uh, use a walker uh, for half a year you know to, to get around I lot uh, you know uh, when things were very serious and just before treatment started, I uh, stopped driving my car. I had a stick shift, so I couldn't work the pedals. And before that, I had resorted to whenever I needed to move my leg position, I could push down um, kind of okay, but I couldn't lift up. And so I had to use my hands to literally move my uh, left and right legs to put them on the pedals. And, you know, as soon as I told uh, Trisha that, then she's like, you know, X and A on the driving, you know, no more, no more of that stuff. Uh, but, you know, typical guy, I'm trying to adjust, I'm trying to adapt. Um, uh, but I wasn't seeing the whole picture, I guess, in some ways. And so um, I want to remember uh, the lessons learned in terms of being, um, you know, when I was, um, uh, when I really, you know, was in a lot of pain where uh, sleep was my only um, refuge. Um, you know, I, I found myself being very intentional with everything I did because it was so difficult to, to just move about. And so I, I never, you know, it, there was such a contrast of that experience with my previous life because just, you know, getting out of bed was so hard. And so if I were to, you know, get out of bed and then go to another room, I needed to make sure that I had everything that I needed because coming back, you know, to the, to the room uh, was such a pain in the ass. And I remember, uh, you know, at the time, when Trish and I were together, you know, if I uh, if I stirred like I was going to get up and, and use the restroom, and she needed to use the restroom, she could get up and go, you know, across the room and take care of business and come back before I had managed to even get fully upright. You know, it was such a pain in the ass. And so I wanted to remember uh, that intentionality with uh, and and not uh, take for granted. Uh, the mobility that, uh, and I still, you know, it's been uh, at least a year since I moved back here to uh, Winter Springs to my um, 
my townhouse. And I still find that I'm thinking before I come downstairs, do I have everything, everything I want? Because going up and down the stairs is easier than it was when I, you know, especially when I first moved back. Uh, but it's still one of these sorts of things that I need to have that intentionality that I want to maintain. And then on the other side of the coin, this there, you know, this this uh, episode in my life also corresponded with this national debate on health care. And, you know, this is horrible what the government is forcing us to do. And I, for one, uh, for those who actually know me or had the pleasure of working with me, I'm a very uh, stubborn person who really does not react well when being told what to do you know if somebody tells me what to do I, I it, it tends to not really work well with me and so to have a, an agency or some government or whatever tell me that I have to do something um, like insurance uh, for me in, in my personality is not you know is not a good a good uh, path to success but and now granted um, I've always been fortunate from you know my earliest days uh, of, of working with the phone company and then working with uh, school districts. I've always had really really good coverage, so that's never been uh, an issue in my life. But I can see um, how big an issue it can be, and how um, having it's a, it's an interesting thing. It's it's um, you know the whole the whole. Uh, industry of medical care is is just you know it, it's it's not healthy it's not functioning well and so all these different parties of all the different stripes are trying to uh, say well this is the way it should go this is the way it should go and all i know is that um i number one i was really fortunate uh that when i did seek medical help i i got everybody did what they were supposed to do and i was treated with uh, respect and i was treated like a human and, and I also felt that my part of the process was to come into speaking with these professionals, looking for their help, doing what I could do, and having a good attitude, even if I was in pain, because, you know, just having a bad attitude when I came into the, you know, into the, uh, working with these individuals, it wasn't going to help anything, you know, it wasn't going to make me feel any better, and, and certainly wasn't going to, um, make them feel any better, which in turn just reflects back on the kind of treatment. So that was, you know, number one was that I got, I got really good care. And number two, I did have access to health care. And so uh, even though it was very expensive, uh, the treatments that I was getting, um, the option, you know, had I not had care, then, you know, um, I mean, I was, I was going down when, when things got serious for me with this uh, the CIDP is what the what the illness was. When things got serious and I was losing my mobility, I was falling. I couldn't support my own body weight. Um, you know, I, in in a matter of six to eight weeks, this whole thing transpired where I could not support my weight um, uh, with my legs. Didn't know what it was. You know, went from you know physical therapy and neurosurgeon couldn't find anything. They you know as far as uh, you know something. Uh, uh, structure to fall to my back or you know, pinched nerve they thought no nah. but when I really started going downhill something completely different the neurologist kind of jumped to the fore I got you know I got the treatment but it was a very long road uh, road back and um, I you know I couldn't imagine what would have transpired had I not gotten the intervention from my the physical therapists and the neurologists and, and the nurse that the nurses that I have gotten a chance to know and, and who have been it has stayed with me. In fact, I've got a uh, my 22nd series of IVIGs is coming up or should be coming up here in the hopefully the near future. And an IVIG is basically is an infusion of um, harvested human antibodies that counteract the damage that was being done to my leg muscles in this case um, with this infusion. And it's basically you know they stick a catheter in me and a big old bag of these fluids, and they do it for four days in a row. And I've done that um, 21 times, so 80, 84 times, 84 days in the last two years, I've uh, you know been, been getting treatment. And had I not gotten treatment, um, it, you know it, the, this kind of illness can't. I mean, I, it was I would have lost use of my legs, uh, which would have gone from treatable to not treatable, I, I imagine. Um, and then had it gone to had the the um, 
illness gone to any other region of my body, in particular my uh, my abdomen or my diaphragm, then you know then I lose my ability to breathe, and there you go. You know, it's kind of end of story. Um, and I, so that was kind of important that I, you know, I get the treatment and, and, uh, and I, I, you know, I got the treatment, I had access to it. So it is one of these sorts of things. I'm not um, somebody who is comfortable being told what to do, but it is one of the sorts of things that um, is that, you, you know, you never know what's going to uh, happen down the road. And uh, if, you know, if we live long enough, things do go you know, you could be perfectly healthy and, and stuff happens and, and it doesn't have to go in a, in a bad direction necessarily with, you know, with, with a proper treatment caught, you know, early enough, um, which is kind of sad because uh, my sister and I, my older sister, uh, Kathy, um, had a similar, we were on parallel tracks when I started getting treatment. She was uh, communicating with me her symptoms and it seemed to be exactly the same sort of thing and while I was getting better over the course of those first uh, three to six months um, she went in the other direction and and so I don't believe necessarily that the illness was what um, literally caused her uh, eventual uh, death but it, but being in that kind of pain that I was in and I, I know she was in um, I, you know, had those first six months or first year, really, of dealing with this pain and being on, you know, pain meds and that sort of stuff. She was on it twice as long as I was, and I just couldn't imagine what it would be like to uh, have suffered that way. And uh, so, uh, so the, the good news is, is that after this next series of IVIGs, then I see my neurologist in another three months, and we figure out what the next steps are going to be but I have to be you know I have to keep my you know I have to keep my head on and I can't I can't forget uh, what I've learned uh, because if I do then um, I might you know I, it might be a, a situation where I'm revisited by this uh, by this illness and if I don't take care of it right away or do what I can do then it can go back to you know what it was before um, and so that's that's I guess that's the lesson learned is is okay I'm I'm much healthier now. I'm in a better place, um, and that was through the support of you know Trisha and her family, and uh, the medical professionals that I w interacted with, uh, my my coworkers at work. There was a you know when I wasn't driving, there was a while where I had you know Trisha would drive me to work, but somebody had to drive me back because there was no way I could last you know the full eight to ten hours that we tended to work in those days and so somebody would drive me back and I had a, a regular group of uh, friends that uh, really stepped up and, and did uh, did something that in, in many ways was very difficult for me being you know, independently minded I needed to ask for help um, when I was not able to to really uh, in many ways I felt like I, w I, you know, I was kind of hanging in there but I don't feel like I was you know I certainly wasn't firing on all cylinders and uh, several of my coworkers stepped up and took up the slack in terms of making sure that my students uh, were taken care of and, and those sorts of things. And, and you know, those were important lessons. Where you know, as independent as I like to imagine myself, uh, it's kind of it's pointless uh, to be quote unquote independent without this inner relationship uh, that makes life a lot uh, a lot better. And uh, and. Uh, so I guess that's that's kind of my final thoughts for tonight is that I am much better. It's been you know two years uh, of the physical therapy, about a, uh, over you know around a year and a half of uh, IVIGs. Like I said, uh, this next series will be um, my 22nd series, which will be after that's done. I'll have 88 days where I've been lying on my back, you know, thinking good thoughts. Um, but I'm hopeful, you know, I'm hopeful to, uh, to um, learn from this episode of my life and, and, you know, do what I can with the time that I have. And, and that's part of the reason why I do this uh, yak, yak, yak blogging thing uh, now is because I, I feel it's important to leave some kind of record of the, the journey that I've been on and hopefully to the betterment of, of um, those that listen and, and, you know, to encourage others 
to, uh, to seek the help that you need and to do what you can do. You know, it's a, it's a cooperative, it's, you know, it's what they do, the professional does, and then it's what I do as, a, as the individual in, in need of help. Um, so that's my final thoughts for tonight. And uh, I'm sorry, it's a little bit long. Really, this is actually the third time or fourth time that I've tried to record this and it gets, it's really difficult to find the words uh, to, uh, to share these sorts of things because it is really complicated, but, you know, I, I feel the need to share it. And so there we go. Um, anyway, so there you go. Uh, that's my final thought for tonight is, is you know, we say, you, you know, if you don't, if you have your health, you got everything. And it's really trite because until, of course, it happens where you're um, not able to do, you know, things like getting up uh, out of a chair or, uh, you know, walking across the room or um, going out and getting in your car and being able to go anywhere and do what you want to do. You know, I went through uh, a, a good solid uh, year and a half of that, that, that journey. And uh, so um, there you go. That's my, that's my rambling thoughts of the night, my final thoughts for tonight. So uh, thanks for checking in and uh, we will catch you next time.